Hello everyone, it is my first reaction video in a long time. We have Wales Scotland friendly. This will be fun, we have three GB players. We have Caroline Weir and Kim Little for Scotland and Sophie Ingle for Wales and all three of those are starting so often when a game starts I'll see who I'm instinctively leaning towards. I am from the border county so I grew up pretty close to Scotland so I've been to Scotland a lot. Love Scotland. Now I live closer to Wales. I only went to Wales for the first time a couple years ago. I've only been there once. Loved it. I'm neither Welsh nor Scottish. I think. I don't know. I think I am probably a bit Welsh. None of that is relevant to football so <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch this game. I'm just hoping for a good exciting game. I feel like it's gonna be quite close. Okay so Caroline is number nine. I need to work out what number everyone is. Oh hello Jess Fishbrook. She's one who I perhaps expected to be in the Olympic squad and who isn't. Where is the small squad? That shadow is going to make it really hard to see just in the switch before the camera adjusts. <laughs> oh, go on, Claire, get it. That's not Claire, that's Erin, isn't it? <laughs> There's Claire. I do think that this will be quite close. In the past, I would have said Scotland for sure to win, but Scotland have been struggling and Wales have been improving. So, I mean, I think Wales have been improving. I haven't been following too, following them too closely, so I could be wrong. But I'm expecting a close game today. I don't know what to predict. I might say 2-1 to Scotland, but I'm really not that sure. <laughs> right, so far in the first four and a half minutes of this game, what I'm gathering is this. Scotland have a lot of possession. Scotland have the most possession, but Wales are pressing them fairly well that there is a good chance Scotland could lose it. Well, Wales could win it in a good position for Wales. So I think that's where Wales could get a goal. Scotland are kind of being patient, working their way through. And one of them will work eventually. I'm thankful that we have this with English commentary because usually when I watch Scotland, it's on BBC Alba, so it's in Gaelic. And this is also in Welsh on another channel. So thanks for giving us it in English as well. I appreciate it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, I think when Wales do get the ball and attack, they're using it really well. That was exciting from Wales. I think they do have more space to work with because Scotland are attacking more so than Wales are in numbers. But that was fun, I like that. Oh. Oh. See, even though Scotland have had the majority of the possession so far this game, it's Wales who have had the good chances. I half wonder if Scotland should try and bring Wales up the pitch a bit. If they'll take the bait, <laughs> sit back and let Wales come out of it and then try and get through them because they're just really not getting through at the moment. Is that a corner? Okay, I enjoy a corner. There's no one by the goal now. They better get past those Welsh players. I thought that was going to number 11 and if it had it on, she had space. Right, now I need to get that in, don't bring it back. Yep, that's nice. Side. Wales did well to pull that offside there. I'd love for Scotland, if they get possession, to just hang on to it for a bit because it seems like they're really rushing 
the rushing play, which I mean often is the great advantage, but at the minute, I don't know, Wales just seem very well organised. Wales are doing well, I think. Right, but here's where we do want to rush to get a crossing. Being risky here, my gosh. Right, they're having a lot of corners, Scotland, so surely they've got to make use of one of them. What I'd like this time is for delivery straight into the box. Better delivery than two times ago. And I think Scotland, they've tried the cluster, I think now they're doing the cluster. <laughs> I mean, I guess it did work because number 11 got three before. It's just whether Caroline can't pick her out because she's already sent it, so she needs to find the ball. Shoot, shoot, shoot! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, how well is Kim doing here? Until then. Right, shoot, Caroline. Oh my goodness, get it, get it, get it, Kim. Oh my gosh, that was the best, most exciting chance so far. Okay, I'm glad there was a little bit of excitement before half time. That's what I want to do more, just have a shot <laughs> if they can't go all the way through. I do still think it's fairly even. Scotland have the majority of the possession and are in Wales half a lot more and obviously Aaron Cuthbert just had that really good chance to hit the the crossbar. But like I said at the beginning of the match, four minutes in, it's the same thing. Wales, I don't know, they just have quite nice play when they do win the ball and get in Scotland's half. There's a lot more space for them. But then again, they haven't really had a very good chance. So I do still think Scotland do look the stronger team overall, but I still think the result of this will be close. Hopefully not draw. Right, I'd like an early goal this half. I don't really care who it's from. Just to... Oh, oh, come on. Someone be there. Just, you know, pick it, pick it up a bit. Make the game more exciting. <gasps> Overhead kick. Oh. Yeah, see, that... That keeper is calm. O'Sullivan is a calm keeper. Right, I think Scotland... Yeah, this, this half does feel a bit different already. Um, I think this half could be wrong. It seems as though Wales are pressing a bit higher. And that's giving Scotland a little bit more room. They still have a whole back line there, Wales, but Scotland seem to have a little bit more space attacking. Now, I just found out I am both Welsh and Scottish on my mum's side. Probably a bit more Welsh. I think my great granddad was Welsh. But. You know, I'm from Northumberland, so I'll just pick the fact that I'm Scottish. <laughs> Great. Nice control. Nice pass. Can she get it to number nine? Oh, dang it. The Welsh commentator just said, and this is so true, that playing the home nations, it's a rivalry, but Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales, she says is a friendly rivalry because they're the Celtic nations, whereas England is just the one that nobody, <laughs> nobody wants. Oh, oh, surely Erin. It's, I'm happy there's been a goal. It's kind of sad that it came from a little bit of a blunder by the goalkeeper. If they're going to get another goal, Scotland, I want it to be like a good goal, like a, a good, well-deserved goal. Not that I didn't deserve the last one, but like you said, you know, it's kind of a, oh, <laughs> a mistake on Wales' part. I should have that just rolled into the goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good tackle. 
Good defending. Oh, there's a tangle. Oh, is it bending? No, 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 no. There wasn't much power on that from Sophie Ingle. Yep, yep. Oh, <laughs> see Erin push Caroline out the way there. There's not enough space to shoot. <laughs> okay, that's a nice position. Yeah, that one. I think there's a free kick. <laughs> Do you see what she just did? She just moved that ball like a foot further forward and wiped out the the line that the referee had put down. <laughs> so cheeky. I mean, now it means the Scotland players are closer to the ball. I just spotted it. I knew she did that. Oh, nice little, nice little bend, but straight to the keeper. I can't see who's in the middle there. My gosh, there's only a minute left of normal time. I got that second half went really fast. I think in this second half, Scotland have been stronger. I mean, Scotland are stronger. Scotland is still a stronger team, but Wales are improving. I think there's been, like you said, like flashes of really good play from Wales. I think there's been times throughout, obviously I said, when Wales are attacking and just doing a really nice play. But it's just getting that consistent throughout the 90 minutes. But like, it's been close, like I expected. Only one nil, and they were kind. That came from a mistake from Wales. Here, here, yeah. <laughs> Five minutes. Holy moly! Okay, there is time for either team to get a goal then. Oh, oh! Right, quick, quick, quick! Let them have one chance before you blow the whistle. Who's there? Who's there? <gasps> oh. Right, surely this whistle will go when she takes this goal kick. She won't even let her take the goal kick. Okay. I mean, I think I said it all through the game. It was close. So that's that one. GB are playing Zambia. We have one game. 1st of July. I should know that because I'm going. So. I am going to that game, so I have to wake out. I'll do some kind of little vlog with my phone in the stage of my guests, but it won't be the same with the whole match footage on it. But you'll get to see what it's like going to the stadium in person. So until next time, thank you for watching this video. Give it a like if you did. Hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. The Olympics are coming soon. I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.